Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. Hope your weekends are going well with whatever you have going on for you. But I'll tell you something, we have a lot going on inside of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. We have more Road to the Final cards coming into packs today as a part of the mini release. And that's what we're going to talk about. Sunday content today and a leaked flashback SBC. A man by the name of Antoine Griezmann might be the next big name player to get himself a flashback in FIFA 22. So I want to take a look at that leak, when that could potentially be coming out, and talk about the new cards that we had in packs yesterday. Three days in a row with new cards in packs. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we, we had man of the match cards added to packs yesterday for the first time. Upgraded a couple live cards, specifically Lukaku. And we have our first Dybala special card, which is right now extinct. On the market we also had the ozil sbc which i think is a fun card five star skills and really really cheap so we'll talk about all of that and more in today's video if you're enjoying the content on the channel make sure to hit a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new let's get right into it today's sunday mini release of course this is the leak this is not an official page with the official dynamics but the positions and the stats on these cards that you see down here in the bottom right should be correct for the cards that we get today in FIFA 22. Mares, Emre Chan, Subaslai, Denayer, right? These are all really good looking items. Subaslai looks pretty good for a Bundesliga center attacking mid. He's going to be cheap. Denayer has really good stats for a League One center back. He's going to be cheap as well. Emre Chan looks like a cracked out card. Hullet Gang with 90 physical. And then Mares, of course, from Manchester City. Very high hopes to progress throughout this tournament of the Champions League. I think he is, of course, going to be the most expensive card that is released today. I'm, dude, I'm just going to throw a price guesstimate out there. Probably about 500,000 coins. Mares is seemingly decently rare in this game. He is pretty hyped. He does have the skill moves and the weak foot. Uh, and he's just a really good card in this game. And, and, you know, he represents Manchester City in this promo. And they, of course, are favored to go far in Champions League. So all three of these should be dropping into the game today. And one thing that I'm, you know, just seeing about this that's very interesting is we have three Europa League live cards coming into the game today. Uh, of course, you have to say that Dortmund is not looking so hot right now after their first round loss. They are down horrendous. So if that Emre Chan is going to get an upgrade, they got to turn it around in the second leg uh, and keep improving and keep and win and really win to keep themselves in a position for that upgrade. But the one thing I want to know is that we have three Europa League cards coming to packs today. So that's going to really skew the pack weight here in the store. And it's it's going to make it look like road to the final UEL players are going to be so packable. I think it's going to make this number jump up a lot uh, because you have three more of those coming into packs today. No more, no more Conference League items and only one more Champions League. Three Europa Leagues. I just find that kind of interesting where EA has been spreading out the cards through this promo. So that is uh, you know definitely content that we are expecting to see today on Sunday. Other than that, I mean, we have to take a look at this flashback Griezmann. Uh, but, you know, Sundays have been icon days. They really have been. I'm really curious to see if they do any new icon SBCs today. There's still rumors about uh, a mid R9 SBC, especially a mid R9 loan SBC containing that last foot swap token that we are missing at the moment. So that's very interesting. And we also have this mid icon player pick, which is expiring uh, today. Now, I'm, I would not be surprised if uh, this SBC is not replaced today, and if there is not a new mid icon player pick, I would not be surprised because we still have the mid or prime pack, which is out as repeatable. So there's still a repeatable icon SBC that is out. Unless EA just want to have two of them out now, maybe they'll re-up this today. Not entirely sure on that. But we got to take a look at this flashback leaked SBC for Antoine Griezmann because, you know, this could be content that comes today. Uh, recently, the, the leakers have been very careful about posting cards that they think are going to come in the next day or two. Like, they post a leak and they expect it to come very, very soon. After the whole Bale flashback SBC that EA changed multiple times and the leakers felt like they kind of got baited by EA, I feel like they're being a lot more careful with this. So, I, I still view this with a grain of salt, right? I view this with a pinch of salt. I still think that a Griezmann flashback will be arriving, right? Um, we think it's very possible. We just don't know if it's going to be today, tomorrow, three, four, five days. Who knows? But Road to the Final is only a one-week promo. So if this does not drop by the end of next week, probably it's going to be declared null. But this would be a dope flashback card to get. These are stats as of right now confirmed. 89 pace, 92 dribble, 91 shot, 
87 pass, 77 physical. And like Mitch says here, likely to be four, four star, four star, which would be massive and very necessary for this Griezmann card. Now, I believe this would be a flashback to his FIFA 19 Road to the Final item which Griezmann had a road to the final item last year as well. So he's the perfect candidate for a flashback during this promo. And if you look at this card stats when he was a 92 rated card, I believe it was after he got upgraded here um, in the knockout stages to a 92. You know, that's a pretty good looking card, right? They're even boosting some of the stats up. 91 shooting versus 90, 92 dribble, 92 dribble, 87 pass. 87 pass. So this could be a really cracked out looking card. I know some of you guys are looking at this and you're like, man, I just did, or I was just planning to work on player of the month, Ben Yetter. Who do I go for? That's a tough situation because both of these cards look really good. Of course, Ben Yetter has that five-star weak foot, the high-low work rates, the league one links. I think he has more traits than Griezmann, although Griezmann does have finesse shot traits. So I'm a big Griezmann fan. I, I just really like Griezmann IRL. Um, so I would be very tempted to do that Griezmann SBC, but honestly, I would imagine that Ben Yedder is more OP, uh, in FIFA, but that Griezmann SBC, SBC, depending on where the price point is, if it's, if they're making all these SBCs cheap during this promo and they started off yesterday with an Ozil, very, very cheap Ozil, then Griezmann might be really good value. But regardless, it's a French striker. And that would be like the third French striker that we have had in the past two weeks because the Amine Guri, um, you know, objective that we had, we've had Ben Yedder now and Griezmann, a lot of French strikers being pumped out. Um, if this Griezmann drops soon. So that's just kind of something to keep an eye out for. Not sure on the release date. Hopefully it's four star, four star. Um, it could be as early as today. It could be in a few days from now. So just kind of keep, you know, your, just be aware that that is an SBC that could be coming soon on this game. Now, speaking of SBCs, yesterday we had the Mezit Ozil five star skill upgrade. Medium low work rates, of course, is a bit of an L, but this is still a fun SBC, right? And especially with upgrade packs coming out tomorrow, don't feel like you have to do this one right away. There's a lot of SBCs that are out right now that I'd be like, hold off. If you're going to do some upgrade packs for Road to the Final, this Ozil is like 50K to complete. Player of the Month Thomas Muller for a 91 rated card is also like 55,000 coins to complete. There's a lot of SBCs, at least those two, and a couple more even that are just really cheap. Uh, on this game. So it, there's going to be a lot of crafting potential when you have duplicates later on this next week during this promo, especially when uh, the upgrade SBCs that are usually released on Mondays, that could be something that you do to craft uh, with those SBCs out then. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now, again, like I mentioned, for other content today on Sunday, maybe an Icon SBC, maybe another Icon upgrade pack, really not too sure. Uh, we have the Icon Swaps 2 um card design slash uh, i guess what you call this token design added into the game it is here icon swaps 2 has arrived like the actual token here uh, but icon swaps are not in the game yet i believe those were leaked to be coming tomorrow on monday uh, but ea is obviously prepared and ready for that they've already dropped the quality search filter and card type on the game so just get ready for that again i think that's going to move the market a decent amount this next week put a lot of focus on those icon swap objectives instead of the gameplay. So it's going to be a very interesting week in general. And we'll probably talk about that a little bit more tomorrow night uh, in the video. But yeah, that's just kind of one thing that we noticed yesterday that was added. Now, speaking a little bit more about what's going on in this game, man of the match items. Um, I was a little surprised by this. Now, surprised in the fact that we hadn't heard anything about man of the matches. And honestly, in my head, I'd kind of put them on the back burner, right? Because, you know, we get man of the matches every year around the January, February time. And usually it's like late January. Um, and, you know, I almost lost some hope this year and we hadn't really talked about it at all, but they actually, and they finally dropped these cards. So we have like, what is it? 18 man of the match items. Ooh, that's an undercut right there. Thank you very much. Lukaku, I will, you know, take that and sell it right now for 55k or something like that where he is. That's a GG, 58. So a lot of these cards that were released yesterday, they're not super crazy hyped. Uh, the most hyped card out of this whole team that was released is Dybala. And this man is extinct on the market, although he keeps popping up. And I want to say this right here, man of the match cards have always been viewed as like really rare cards um, in FIFA's of, of years past. Now, in FIFA's of years past as well, they usually drop these Man of the Matches on either Friday or Saturday nights, okay? Last year, they dropped them on Saturdays like they did yesterday. Um, but again, with the way the pack weight is in FIFA 22, 
It's just everything gets packed so much and these cards seem to have a really high pack weight, even though it doesn't tell you a percentage in the store. I don't think these cards are going to be as rare as the man of the matches of old that we used to see. Now, are these guys bad to trade with because of that? No, not at all. These are going to be great ca cards to trade with that are going to fluctuate. Uh, I think this Romero card, like an 86 rated Romero, um, which is a nice looking card, especially as a Tottenham fan. Uh, but this Romero is going for the same price on day one that his inform card was before this item came out yesterday. So that's just kind of a thing uh, with these with these man of the match cards that they are packed a decent amount. And you know we do have some dynamic images that they've they've allowed some of these cards to have as well. Dybala, Lukaku, Jota, Clivert, Romero, some of the more hyped ones. A left wing back Perisic as we look at the full team here of released cards. Now again, not all these cards are super duper meta. But they're cool, right? And it gives another opportunity for players that are playing in cup matches, right? That's, I want to clarify what these are for as well. These are for like cup matches. These are not for performances that happened in the Champions League games that happened last week. These are for cup matches or um, maybe over the past few weeks as well. So hopefully we'll start to see more consistent rele releases of Man of the Matches. If they were to release Man of the Matches for Champions League, Europa League, or Conference League games... I think that those cards, like we've seen in years past, would have their own card design. So that is just one thing that I want to point out as well. These are not for Champions League performance uh, games or anything like that. Is this Dybala actually sitting now? Okay, that one got bought. Um, I don't think this Dybala should be 100K. I mean, look how look how many of these are popping up. It's, it's crazy. I understand the hype on Dybala. He did get a really nice upgrade. He got plus two pace, plus two shooting. He still has a three-star weak foot. He does have the four-star skills, and Dybala is a really good card in this game. But, I mean, I, I don't think this card, especially especially after two or three days, is not going to be over 100,000 coins. So, that's just me being completely honest. Uh, I think that a lot of people would rather use Team of the Year Honorable Mentions uh, Kiesa as a striker over this Dybala card, uh, just in terms of how good that item is versus stat-wise how good this Dybala is. But again, it's Dybala. He's got the hype, brand new card. First special uh, of FIFA 22. So I understand the first day price being a little bit expensive. But you know what? Man of the Matches are back. And we have nothing else to complain about that. Because these cards are cool, right? Man of the Matches are cool. The Fantas, as they are called. And having Dynamics on them is a big W as well. Of course, not on all the cards that we see here. But... You know, just keep an eye on these, right? They're going to fluctuate. We have squad battle rewards that are this morning into Sunday morning. So that's going to supply some of these cards a little bit. And there's going to be some people that want to go out and try these items, um, you know, in their teams, in weekend league, in division rivals or whatever it may be. So, you know, keep an eye on these, right? Kuti Romero, I think, is down here at like, what, 20, 26, 27,000 coins. I mean, if this guy hits like almost 20K tonight, I I'm going to have to pick a couple of them up because that's way too cheap for a first day price. Uh, yes, these cards are going to be semi-rare right away because they were not released on Friday when most of the packs are opened and you have saved up packs and stuff. Now, you will still have lightning rounds today, so these cards will get supplied with the mini release dropping, but it shouldn't be as insane um, as a Friday. Fridays are always the, the biggest days for number of packs open, if you guys have noticed that. Uh, for the first day of a brand new promo, Friday is always the very, very hype day for cards like that. But market-wise in general, I did make some more coins yesterday. Now I've cleared a lot of those sales, unfortunately. Um, around content drop, I was flipping some more of these brand new Road to the Final cards. They did have some good price fluctuations. Um, and we do now have an extinct item. Mane, who shows up as non-extinct right now, he is extinct at 1.6 mil. Again, with people excited about that Mane, potentially getting a plus two if they win the second leg against Inter. They win that game and they would also qualify for the next round at the same time. So at that next upgrade point, he would get a plus two. And the first thing I have to ask, and we're, we're going to have to really see how EA wants to do this, is uh, how often are they going to upgrade these cards? We're going to have to look back to last year and see what they did in some of the years past because we've got Champions League games that are this week. And, you know, on Tuesday, we've got Chelsea and Lille, Villarreal and Juve, you know, right there between those two games. Let's say Chelsea go ahead and win this game, right? Well, Havertz is do a plus one upgrade. Are they going to do it like they've done? I think last year the way they did it is like they waited um, like a week or two until all of the first leg games were played. Then they went out and upgraded cards. Or are they going to upgrade cards like 
pretty soon. I hope they upgrade them faster. I really hope that they do. Now the website says may take a few days to update in game. So we'll see what they do with their kind of upgrade pattern, but we might have our first road to the final upgrades as soon as later on this week. So that's kind of something to keep in mind with these cards as they fluctuate in price, especially today on Sunday is if you see some big drop-offs on these, especially, you know, maybe after whatever content we get today with the mini release, um, you know, Chelsea would be expected to, to probably win against Lille on Tuesday, and you would probably expect Juve to perform pretty well. So, you know, Quadrado and Havertz are going to be cards to really keep an eye on, and I feel like people might start to invest in these pretty soon um, because they're live, and their upgrades could be coming even as soon as the end of this week because you would have all of your first round your first leg matches played by the end of this week so you we might be looking at our first upgrades on friday night thursday or friday night that's just kind of something that we could see and we'll just have to kind of see what ea does with that but just kind of my preliminary thoughts and watch these road to the finals in general because these are live cards and if we take a look and i was doing a little bit of research earlier when you look back at some of the earlier uh fifas like last year for road to the final cards right away after they were um you know out of packs they started to go up. And even during the week when they were in packs, some of the cards went up uh, just because people knew that they had games. They knew that they had upgrade potential. Uh, and so those cards, you know, they dropped down. The Alfonso Davies here is a bit of a different story. But then, you know, these cards last year were released um, at a very different time. And I'm just clicking on a random card to see what their prices were. But as you can see, a lot of these cards were low kind of on, what is it, Sunday, Monday, 842 was this bombing low on that Sunday, Monday time frame. Then he rose up a little bit, of course, after going out of packs. So a big point of topic this week is going to be, when do I buy a road to the finals if I wanna buy one for my team? Because these are historically, especially a year where a lot of cards don't rise very well out of packs for a longer period of time these cards have an opportunity to kind of break that mold. And we saw it with Road to the Knockouts earlier this year, which we'll probably do some more research on. I'll do some more research on in the next day or two, especially as we head into tomorrow um, and just see where these cards go. Because even with icon swaps coming out, I feel like people that want to invest in these cards for the potential upgrade are gonna be very quick to want to go out and buy them on this game as we get into even the, the early stages of, of this coming week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, with all of the stuff going on in this game. So that's just kind of come, something to keep on the forefront of your mind. Um, and again, these cards are really rare and they have so much hype. You know, that adds to it as well. I bought a Renato Sanchez yesterday at 1.6 million coins and I sold it at 1.77, sorry, not 1.77, 1.72. Um, but these cards had crazy fluctuations last night. You saw me on the YouTube video last night sell my Kempembe for 1.32. Kempembe actually ended up going all the way to 1.39, 1.4 million coins. I ended up selling a, a little bit too early on that card. It, it's just crazy to see how much demand and how much hype some of these items have on this game. Alex Tellez is another one that has so much hype. Uh, you're going to have to keep an eye on this Tellez card for sure as we head out of this weekend because Manchester United with a big match on Wednesday with you know a showdown SBC on the line as well with the Eric Bailly and the DePaul SBC. You know, we're going to have to kind of keep in perspective these roads to the finals because there's going to be so much hype on them as we head on throughout this week. So just kind of keep that in mind. And if there's one of these that you want for your team, and especially if it's from a squad or a team that you think is going to perform pretty well and get upgrades, uh, really fast and really soon, especially if they win their first leg, like a Kai Havertz or something like that, just keep an eye on those because they might start rising sooner than you would actually think on this game. So that's kind of what's going on on the market right now. Again, I'm, you know, the market's really not dropping too much per se as of yet. I know we were talking about in yesterday's video, maybe watching to see if we had some market drop off. Now you still see some prices. It just depends on the card, right? You take a look at Mbappe, Mbappe is 815,000 coins. This card is dropping, right? This card is dropping, but you know, not all of your out of pack special cards are, have really started to drop yet. If we, if I take a quick scroll through future stars, um, you know, okay. Pedri is down 1.83 is down a bit. Daka is up. Verts is up a little bit. Ferran Torres is just kind of chilling. Um, future stars team number one, 
Bellingham is down a little bit. Smith Rowe's about the same price. Vlahovic is down a little bit. So it's on a card by card basis, but I think maybe today on Sunday, and especially as we get into like Tuesday, Wednesday timeframe after Icon Swaps actually drops, that's when I think you will see more of a drop off on some of these cards, um, especially if EA keeps up the good content. Flashback Griezmann leak that is out there. Um, you know, if they keep putting out big time player SBCs, if they put out good upgrade packs this week, that's going to be a big, big thing that could drain some coins off the market as well. Because upgrade packs, again, as we mentioned, they could be incredible value because you've got man of the match cards that are in packs right now. You've got a ton of road to the final items. That's not road to the final from 22. This is the team that we're looking for. And especially if they're adding four more into packs today. Upgrade packs this week are going to look like great value. So I know that was a lot to talk about, a lot to kind of digest, but that's kind of what I'm seeing right now on FIBA 22 with the market, with the game and content in general. So I like the man of the matches. I think they're a dub. Today on Sunday, it's going to be the mini release again, maybe some sort of icon related content. I don't think we're getting icon moments yet. Again, if you go to the transfer market and you search, you don't see the names of like the icon moments in here with the rating. Like if we were going to get moments, you'd see Ronaldo 97. So now I'm really thinking that moments are going to be this coming Friday um, and that they're going to be intertwined with whatever promo is next and that EA is actually going to drop icon swaps tomorrow with a couple moments cards in icon swaps um, that you will be able to try to grind and achieve from there first instead of actually seeing them through packs, which is a little bit interesting. But that seems like how it is going to go down on this game. So continue watching the market. Hopefully today we have some other good content. And you know what? Bring me the Griezmann today. EA Sports, drop the Griezmann today. That'd be dope. We would absolutely love to see that. So that's the video for today, boys. Again, I hope you're all doing well. Hope the weekend league has treated you well. If you are playing, I've been kind of off the game today in, in its entirety. I flipped a couple cards, like I said. Renato Sanchez, a couple of Anzu Fati. But other than that, I was watching my boy Spurs play and get the dub what a tremendous game of football that was and uh yeah just been chilling kind of just taking a nice bit of a break after a hard week of trading uh we did hit 10 million coins liquid for the first time this fifa um but we, we actually have somewhere around 11 plus mil because we still have a fair and Torres here i did buy a couple of lukaku's and i'm trying to, to uh trade um, with right now, I still have some Donnarumma's that I'm actually losing on. So, you know, we still have a lot of coins up here, but it was nice to see that 10 mil liquid up in the first, first time ever this year for a part-time trader, if you will, <laughs> uh, on this game. So thanks for watching the video, boys. I greatly appreciate it. If you do leave a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nathan Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.